Hey everybody, I'm happy that you can all be back with us for week, or day three, not week three, day three of VBS. If you don't remember, I am your Bible verse teacher, and today our Bible verse comes from Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. Once again, Proverbs is right in the middle of our Bible, somewhere right in the middle there, so it's a little bit easier to find than some of the other ones. If you just flip open the middle and kind of flip side to side, Proverbs is a book of wise sayings. Now, I'm trying to think of some wise sayings your parents might repeat to you over and over again. I know when I was a kid, my mom used to say, the world doesn't revolve around you, Adrian. And that may have been hard to hear sometimes, but as I look back on life, I realize that the world does not revolve around me. That was a wise saying. Just letting me know, Adrian, you're not at the center of the universe. All right? And maybe you've heard, do to others as you would have them do to you. Well, that's straight from God's word, but it's also a wise saying. It may not be in Proverbs, but it is a wise saying from God. And God wants you to know that you can, if you know how to treat others, you, you can know how to treat others by how you want to be treated, not by how they treat you. Sometimes we like to make a defense for the actions or the things that we do or the things that we say, right? Because of what someone else did to us. But God says, do to others as you would have them do to you. If you could choose what they would do to you, do to them that way. All right. So those are some wise sayings. And this is another of God's wise sayings for us. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him, and he will make straight your paths. Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. So, what does this verse mean? Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Should we trust the Lord with just, I don't know, trust, trust the Lord that he'll provide our food each day. But this divorce that my parents are going through, that's just way too hard to trust God. Right? Maybe that's what you're facing. Maybe you're facing something like a parent's divorce or you're facing something even harder than that, like the death of a loved one. You can trust God with that too. Not just providing your food each day, not just trusting him to help you get along with your siblings. God wants you to trust him with all of your heart. Trust him with every situation that comes your way. And do not lean on your own understanding. Now, I'm sure many of you can think of a time in your life where you thought you knew the big picture. You thought you knew all about what was happening and why people were doing things the way that they were doing and you were so upset about it and then you discovered oh, you were wrong. There were some details you did not know. There were some things that had you known you probably would have been nicer to people. Or had you known this, had you known that, you probably would have done things differently, right? Well, that's why God says, do not lean on your own understanding. Do you guys think that God, the creator of this entire universe, probably knows a thing or two more than us? He does. He knows all about the ins and outs of everywhere in the earth. Not just Swanton, Vermont. Not just Highgate, Vermont. He knows all about what's going on in Tokyo and the Philippines and... Papua New Guinea. He knows what's going on in the Congo in Africa. He knows what's going on in every person's life everywhere in the world. And I don't know about you, but when I think about that, it's really hard for me to even wrap my brain around that. How can God be that powerful? I don't quite get it. And you might not either, but that's okay because you'll discover as you walk with God, your understanding is not worth leaning on. Him. Trust in the Lord with all your heart because He is worth leaning on. And then it says, in all your ways, acknowledge him. What does it mean to acknowledge? Hmm. Have you ever walked down the street and you walk past someone who's coming the opposite direction as you and they don't even look you in the eye or smile, they just look at the flowers along the way? And it's like they didn't even acknowledge you were there, right? Well, God wants us to acknowledge him in every detail of our lives, right? In all your ways. So when you sit down for breakfast, Thank you, Lord, for this food. You're acknowledging that God is the one that provided it. And when you get in a fight with your brother and he apologizes, thank you, Lord, for helping him to see that he was wrong. You're acknowledging that God was behind changing his heart, right? Acknowledge God in everything. And he will make straight your paths. 
Guys, when you start to see God in every detail of your life, when you start to notice him in the little things and in the big things, and you see that he has a big, big, big picture in mind, it helps you be able to let go of some of the things you hold so tightly to. And it helps you to see that he is making straight your path, that he is working all things for good for those who love him, right? For his glory. So by make straight your path, that doesn't mean that you're never going to go through hard times. But it means that maybe your parents are going through a divorce, but you can still have peace and joy in the midst of it because you know Jesus and because you know he's walking with you through it, right? So whatever you're facing, he says that he will make straight your paths. He'll guide you in the right direction. He just wants you to look to him and he will. He'll show you what to do with every situation you face, but you've got to go to his word and you've got to go to him in prayer. You've got to acknowledge him. So this comes from Proverbs 3, 5. I'm going to say it through with the reference, the verse, and then the reference again, okay? Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make straight your paths. Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. All right, so I'm going to read that straight from God's word now. And you can see that this isn't a poster board I made or this isn't a verse, a wise saying that I made up. This is straight from God's word, the Bible. And it's written for you because he wants you to know this as truth in your heart. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make straight your paths. So that's what it says here, right? So we know that God wrote this for you. He wants you to know that you can trust him in any situation. And if you know Jesus as your Savior, God wants you to tell others. He wants you to keep trusting him. Because you know what? Just because you know Jesus doesn't mean life's always going to go smoothly. It doesn't mean that there's not going to be road bumps. It doesn't mean that there's not going to be hard things that you face, right? It just means that you have peace and you will have joy in the midst of it. And you can trust in the Lord with all your heart and that you don't have to lean on your own understanding. When, this, when a problem occurs and you think you know the details and you think you have a right to be upset with someone, that's a time to remember. No, no, God tells me not to lean on my own understanding. He tells me that there's probably things I don't know. And even if there aren't, he's telling me to do it his way, right? Which is to acknowledge him, to trust that he is working behind the scenes because he always is. And if you don't know Jesus as your savior, I hope that you will give your life to him. I hope and I pray that you will learn to acknowledge him in every area of your life and you will be able to praise him with us and you will be able to say that you trust him with all of your heart and that your own understanding is just not worth leaning on anymore. All right. I hope you guys have an awesome rest, rest of your last day of EBS. All right, so our Bible verse game today is to rearrange these Bible verse what, um, words, which are all of the words of our Bible verse. If you can still see it up there. And to get them in order as fast as you can. Okay, so I'm going to shuffle them and mix them up really, really good. And then I'm going to try to put them in order as fast as I can. And after I'm done, I'll look at my time and then I will try to beat it. So I'm only going to show you my first time, the first time doing it through. And then you guys can do it as a group together and you can try to beat your time and you can try to beat your time again and you can try to beat your time again until you can get your fastest time arranging these words in the right order. So maybe if you um, don't have this verse in big, on your wall like I do, um, you can pull out your Bible and you can assign somebody to keep reading the verse over and over again or to you can just lay it out on the table in front of everybody to see. All right, so here I go. The, okay, trust in the Lord and, and for him lean on your, I got lean on your, and not do, do not, I don't know, it would be and do not lean on. All right, so I have one full sentence. Do not lean on your own 
All right, where's understanding? Oh, there's Proverbs 3, 5. Trust. Lord with. Oh, trust in the Lord with. Heart. I need all. I need all. Trust in the Lord with all. I need another your. With all your heart. And do not lean on your own. Where is understanding? Understanding. All right. In all. Another your. Your ways. Acknowledge. Him and he will make straight your paths. Proverbs 3, 5, done. All right, have fun, guys.